So, for this problem, I'm asked to determine the center of mass of a plate, and I'm given its area density y. And then I'm told the plate is in the region r above the graph y equals x squared and below the line y equals 3. Let me start by drawing that region. So, I have my parabola y equals x squared. And here's my line y equals 3. Let's figure out where these two intersect. So, y equals x squared. Well, y equals 3. x has to equal the square root of 3. So my two points of intersection are negative root 3, 3, and root 3, 3. So let's think about how we find the center of mass of something. So I have x bar, right, or y bar. They're pretty much interchangeable. I have a double integral over the region of x times the area density, dA. divided by the integral of area density over the region. So let's start off finding this denominator. I will fittingly label it D. So I know I'm looking at a double integral of y. That's my area density. Now let's figure out my bounds of integration. I think I want to integrate with respect to y first. Because if I look at my picture, my bounds on y are x squared to 3. So function of x has to go first. And then I already know that x goes from negative root 3 to root 3. So those will be my bounds of integration for x. Let's start integrating. Uh, so I have integral of y dy, which gives me 1 half, x, 1 half y squared. Let me pull that 1 half out in front. And I want to evaluate that from y equals x squared to y equals 3. So let me plug in. 3 squared is 9, right? And x squared squared is x to the fourth. Now I'm ready to integrate with respect to x. Let me start with my 9. I'm going to get 9x. And then x to the fourth becomes 1 fifth x to the fifth. And I want to evaluate that from negative square root of 3 to square root of 3. Ah. Moving over here. OK. So let's take a look at root, free, root 3 first. I have 9 square root of 3 minus 9 fifths square root of 3. Now let's plug in negative root 3. I have negative 9 square root of 3. Ooh, plus 9 fifths square root of 3. Where the plus came from? 5 negatives, 1 more negative, 6, even number, positive. Let's add this up. So 9 thirds. Plus 9 thirds is 18, thir 18 square roots of 3. And then negative 9 fifths square root of 3 minus 9 fifths square root of 3. Negative 18 square roots of 3. Yeah. Negative 18 fifths square root of 3. This problem will make you go crazy. 
All right, so thank you very much for the help calculator. And let me see, what do I get? Thirty six square roots of three over five. Okay, so I know that's going to be my denominator. Now, let's work on finding x bar. So, I'm going to set up a really similar integral to the one that I was working with earlier. But now I'm going to have x times y as my function to integrate. Let me go ahead and write it out. xy dy dx. And let's go ahead and divide by that denominator that we found. So I'm going to flip the fraction. So I'm multiplying by 5 over 36 square roots of 3. Okay, let me start integrating. I have x, I'm integrating xy with respect to y. So I'm going to get 1 half xy squared. I'm going to pull the 1 half out, so now I'm looking at 5 over 72 squared roots of 3. And then I want to evaluate this from y equals x squared to y equals 3. Let me plug that 3 in first. I'm going to get 9x. minus x to the fifth, right? x squared squared x to the fourth times x, x to the fifth. All right, let's integrate with respect to x now. 9x is going to become 9 halves x squared. And x to the fifth is going to become 1 sixth x to the sixth. And I want to evaluate that from x equals negative square root of 3 to x equals square root of 3. And all of this is going to be multiplied by 5 over 72 square root of 3. All right, now let's start by plugging in. I'm going to do the square root of 3 first. So the square root of 3 squared is 3 times 9 halves is 27 halves. And then minus the square root of 3 to the 6th is 27, right? 3 to the 1 half to the 6th, 3 to the 3rd, 27 over 6. All right, now let's plug in negative square root of 3. So negative square root of 3 squared is 3 times 9 halves is 27 halves. And then negative root 3 to the 6th is 27 times negative 1 6th is minus 27 over 6. Come on. If I take a look, I see I'm sub subtracting a quantity from itself. So I'm actually going to get 0. So my x bar is 0. I should put that over here. Let me erase some of this. Now let's do the same thing to find y bar. I'm just going to replace this x bar with a y and this x with a y.
So this time I'm integrating y squared. Let's go ahead and get started. So the integral of y squared is going to be 1 third y to the third. And I'm going to pull that out. So I'm going to get oh, 5. Five over one oh eight squared to three times so I have y cubed and I want to evaluate from y equals x squared to y equals three. Let's go ahead and start plugging in. So, y cubed gives me 27, minus x squared cubed gives me x to the sixth. Okay, now I'm ready to integrate with respect to x. 27 becomes 27x. And then x to the 6 becomes 1 over 7 x to the 7. And I want to evaluate this from negative square root of 3 to square root of 3. All right. Let me erase some of my work on x bar so I'll have a little more room. Now let's start plugging in. First I have the square root of 3. Which gives me 27 root 3. Minus 1 over 7 times 27 square roots of 3. Okay, now let's do negative square root of 3. So, negative 27 square root of 3. And then, plus 27 square root of 3 over 7. Right? I have 8 minus signs in total. Alright, let's go ahead and evaluate this. So, I have... I have a root 3 in everything, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel them out. Alright, so I have 27 plus 27, which gives me 54. And then I have negative 27 over 7 minus 27 over, 20, over 7. So minus 54 over 7. All right. Calculator is going to help me out here, and my answer is going to be 15 over 7. So, the center of mass for this plate is the point 0 and 15 sevenths.